Alright, I'm playing Valkyria Chronicles again. Um, I did a video on this back when I first bought the game. Uh, I'm playing with Wine, clearly. It's a Windows only game. Well, it's a console game ported to Windows. I'm playing with Wine. Now, the video I did, um, you know, way back when was the start of the game it was like the tutorial mode for the combat system I'm now uh, quite a bit further on although I'm, I've been stuck at this battle of barriers thing for a while but this gives us an opportunity to um, to look at some of the other features of the game once you get past that basic tutorial so we're here the, the, the concept uh, the conceit of the game, I guess you call it, is the, this book, which is the, a history book of the, this war going on in an, uh, sort of a alternate universe uh, Europe in the in the late thirties, sort of analogous to uh, the World War Two era. Uh, that there is the battle I've not managed to complete yet, uh, and these are story sections some of which are optional, you see one, star, two. Um, so we can, well, I'll not show you a story, a story section right now because that's, uh, you know, spoil the story for you. Here I am, chapter seven. So what I will do is uh, dive back here into this uh, tab select remembering to set, select space so I'm gonna head to headquarters yes so headquarters lets you uh, uh, do various things like level up your squad and uh, and choose the, the members of your squad so that's training and research new stuff uh, the War Cemetery lets you lets you learn new battle commands. So, I'm going to come back to this in a minute. Let's uh, return to book mode. What I'm going to do right now, yes, let's return to book mode. Is uh, go to skirmishes. So I've been struggling with that battle. So uh, what I want to do. As a result, is uh, is level up my squad a bit. So I want to get, uh, I want to uh, do these skirmishes, which are basically the battles taken out of earlier chapters. And if I complete them successfully, then I get uh, money and experience and can level my squad up, which should make the main story battles easier. So you know, in the traditional RPG thing, they're side missions let you level up. Um, I will not do the new one. I'll do the one that I know what to expect. And we'll do it on easy. Because, you know, I'm all for easy mode. So if you didn't see... Will now be briefed on the operation. If you didn't see my earlier video, this is uh, this will be an example of combat. Um, now that we're in the army, we get a briefing from... Uh, Captain Verot. I've uh, received intelligence. There we go. We're gonna start from there. We've got to we've got to occupy their base camp, which we will see. So, victory condition is occupy the base camp. Failure condition is they occupy our base camp. Uh, we take longer than 20 turns to occupy their camp, or Welkin, who's the main hero, he dies. So, one of four is deployed, That's that will be Welkin. There we go. Now, we uh, we have Alicia here, who like, you can see likes Welkin, she's a scout. So, let's... Let's put her with Welkin. And... 
Let's see. We'll have some shock troopers. They're your, uh, they're your main, uh, main battle people. So let's go for Nina because she's got 260 hit points. And uh, we'll keep Rosie for for somewhere else. Yeah, let's go with Nina. And I like Wendy because she's a bit of a psycho who doesn't like anybody. So we'll stick her there. Uh, Q. Oh, so this this uh, lets you see there. Uh, you can see that uh, Jane is a child of nature, but likes killing lancers, and uh, is an imperial hater. She gets a bonus for being close to the um, imperials. Nina's a tank hater, so possibly not a good plan to put her with the tank. But there you go. Oh. So let's staff the other position. So I want I want to have let's have Ramona. Do a bit of scouting. And let's have Rosie to do a bit of combat. She likes Largo. So uh, let's have Largo in there. And Largo likes Jan, so let's put Jan in there. And we want... We want... Right, hands, another shock trooper, there we go. So that's my uh, that's my nine units. Let's deploy. Right, set to begin. Good luck. So I'll wait for it to load up. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia! Squad seven, move out. Now, one of the things I love about this game is is the whole art style. It's um, it's fairly unique, I think. So, we have a number of um, uh, action points there. CP. Now, we use two CP if I uh, if I use up my tank. We've got two scouts here, so what I'm going to do is uh, here I go. select Nina, I'm going to run her up to uh, run her up to those barrels. Come in. And we're going to take a shot at one of these scouts. Two shots to kill. That's one of them sorted. Good job. We can change things. Right, how do I actually get out? I've forgotten how to exit. And the current action, there we go. Now I could move her again, you see, but she'll be under fire if I do. Let's now move Wendy into position. Here I come. I'm just going to charge her up there. Watch the distance between you and the enemy. And take this bloke out. Now if you adjust your aim, you can sometimes see that uh, there's not a soft spot. Seven shots to kill, let's go for it then. Yeah. I'm That's her sorted. So let's crouch her down there and end that action. 
And let's get my scout Alicia. My turn, okay? And uh, charge her uh, up the hill here. Just scout ahead, see what's going on. That's the dude to hit there. Let's let's do that him, shall we? Headshot. Got him. Now he's lost a, a, a medal there, which the medals are the same as. Right, we'll leave her there for now. Yes. You see, the medals are what I've got to uh, move my troops on the top there. I've got five left. So some of my characters, uh, they they count for medals. Like uh, Rosie and Largo and Alicia being the main characters. So, what I want to do... I get a pans. And move in... Just shoot at this dude. There we go. You're dead. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Enemy found. And what we're gonna do is leave him just there. Hopefully out of the line of fire. Then we're going to attack that other enemy with Rosie. Because she's a bit of a badass redhead. Two shots to kill. There, and there. Good job, Rosie. And we'll leave her there, out of, uh, out of the line of fire. Okay, I'm on top of it. And then we'll get our scout over the top there. And we'll go up and see if we can take a shot at that bloke. Ooh, undodgeable shots. This is one of the potentials. I know you're back there. Get out here. Yes! You're doing well. Just keep it up. So we can probably run a run. Oh. We'll run her up to the uh, bags there because she's got a bit of cover. And then uh, what I want to do is move my lances. In position for when that tank attacks. Uh, you probably gather that Han, he's um, it's injured. Remember to use rag in that current action. He's a he's a happy, happy man. Been waiting here. It just ain't feeling it. Alright, so child of nature means he's not happy in the city. I'm going to leave them, him there. And that will end my turn. Yes. So now they get to attack me. And we'll see what happens. My scout is a bit vulnerable there. We'll see how she gets on. I can do this. She doesn't get to shoot back at anybody that attacks her though. Tank missed up. That bloke missed up. She's going to get to shoot back. She nearly took him out there. Good job, Ramona. I can do this. 
And that'll teach you for attacking my scouts. Ah, and now we find there's somebody sneaky hiding in the grass. And that'll teach him for hiding in the grass. Another tank trying to shoot at my scout. Nasty people. And now it's my turn. So one thing I want to do is get my tank into position this, this round. So you can see these crosses are mines. So I'm going to first move Wendy out of the way. We'll get her up here where uh, Alicia is for support. And then we'll take our tank. Here we go. And we'll try to escape the starting base now without taking up too many of our own defences. So we didn't really get him very far, because I kept trying to go into the thing. Let's try that again. For now, let's get Rosie. No, no, let's start with hands and go and take out Free that Empire. other scout. Enemy found, enemy there. I think I could probably hit him from there. There we go. He loses another. Um, You're dead. Order, order point. I'm on. Oh, who can she shoot at? That was one shooting at the tank. Can we hit anybody? No. Let's escape from the shooting mode and charge up here and hope she can uh, get away with it. Let's shoot him then. Now she's a bit vulnerable there, but she is a tough lady. So let's, let's see. I've only got one point left. I don't think Ramon will survive. Moving out. So let's try Alicia. Let's shoot that scare in the back of the head. Yeah. Like it. And let's uh, run back into cover. And the current action and see what they do to me. Let's 
so he's got far reduced um, available actions now because I took out all of his men but he's uh, heading off down that way yeah. and rather wastefully shooting at Rosie with a rocket launcher thing Now that tank's going to make a run for it through the wall. We're not doing a lot of damage to it. It's true. Big hole in the wall. And again he's going to shoot at Rosie. They've got, they've got it in for Rosie, eh? She's still alive. Taking the shot back. One last go at her. Ooh, sniper. Nice shot trooper. Beautiful. Good job, hands. Right, so first things first. Let's take out this tank. You got it, hon. Come out and fight like a man, honey. This place is insane. Go back. And what you want to do with tanks is hit them in this radiator at the back. Yeah. Good by tank. The radiator is their uh, Sorry, honey. vulnerable spot. Head to the next one. Uh, where can we put him? Here's some cover. Wait a bit and see Good move. man. So we're going to get Rosie and take out that last bloke in the base. And then that's that an engineer, right? And a shock trooper. So let's kind of when do you go and take out the shock trooper? Yes, you. <laughs> she didn't take out the shock trooper. Let's have Alicia go and take out the shock trooper. Shock Trooper all gone now. Actually, no. Let's, uh, go on, go over. I can't get it to go over. Now there's no one in the base, I can sneak in and occupy it. So despite not defeating all the enemies, I have captured the base, which was the goal. Operation complete. Remember, their base. not killing everybody. So I get 1100 experience, lots of money. 
Oh, 4,200 experience and 4,000 ducats or whatever they are. I would have got more money for defeating all the tanks, but it would have taken too long to um, drag my man up there. So uh, now let's now that we've got some uh, money and some other stuff, let's return to headquarters and see about leveling some people up. Let's go into the training field. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots. Trade all you want. I've got all day. So what I want is better lancers because the battle I've not been able to do yet has got a big ass tank in it. So let's get them up to level six. You're better than this. Push those limits. Level up. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. So that's all I can do with that one, one battle. Now you see all the potentials there. You'll notice that I didn't unlock any new ones with that particular leveling up. Let's exit the training field. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Yes, sir. Now the other thing we can do is go to the uh, R&D facility and, and improve our equipment. Welcome, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? So let's look at develop weapons and see what options we've got in the anti-tank lance. So... It seems to me like we should develop that. I've already developed it. Sorry, bro. Just not there yet. So I can't do anything with the anti tank lance at the minute. That's absolutely what else we've got. I can make my snipers more accurate. I can make my grenades more powerful. Can't do anything with the uniforms. Oh. Ooh. What can I do with the rifles? Nothing as yet, by the look of it. So I presume I need to advance the story to actually get any any better uh, weaponry there. Let's just have a brief look in the outfit tanks. Uh, so my aim is E. I don't know, my aim for anti armor is E. My tread defense is 175, my body defense is 500. Now if you look here you'll see I have a whole bunch of um, extra gubbins packs tightly into my uh, tank thing there on the on the right so I can't do anything with that at the minute either so that sets the R&D facility back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. but I have got these 4,000 uh, ducats burning a hole in my pocket so let's go and see our uh, journalist who of course is the one who writes the book that the story hey! that we're in dropping by to read the writing on the wall that's a good man oh and how about the new rising star of squad seven huh i've heard some wild stories you must be proud i couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview you'll have to read it once i get it all drafted up 
So, you see there's a uh, a bunch of uh, news stories and stuff. Which uh, follow the war. And then you can also uh, pay money to unlock um, bits of the story. Well, I'm guessing because. So, there we go. make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? Yes, yeah, so we can we can now uh, get Largo's passion. Yes. <laughs> Thanks a million. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. So that should appear. Hey. Yeah, yeah. So. No, I haven't. Yes, right. Come back and see the writing on the. That will appear in the in the book, I think, at some point when we get to it. Right, War Cemetery is the last thing that's that's really interesting here. Now, this is where you learn. New battle commands. You meet up with Hello some again, son. old veteran. I'll teach you sniper support today. Use it to request backup from allied snipers to snipe a single enemy target. Well, what is your decision? Right, so I need 6,500 XP, and I haven't got close to that, so I can't learn it today. No. I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. So there you go. That's uh, that's most of the parts of the uh, game that I wasn't able to show you last time. A new episode has been added. Woohoo! New report has been added. The personnel tab has been updated. <coughs> Ooh, Largo's passion. So that's the one. Report. Alert embedded. No, these are the ones I've bought. Uh, on that, on the by funding the reporter, so I can now play them. As oh, I'm back at the start of the book. Our side missions here, which I will. Uh, probably do uh, after this video because I've rabbited on for half an hour now uh, so uh, Valkyria Chronicles although you've not seen it in this video it has a nice story has a uh, very nice graphical style and it has some uh, depth to it even though I'm here on easy mode you see there's some strategic choices to be made and uh, you know level up your people and all that sort of thing and uh, currently this game is 75% off on Humble Bundle where you uh, get a Steam key so uh, if you're on the fence about picking it up for 15 quid you can now have it for uh, less than four pounds and I would say it's excellent value at that price uh, well worth checking out 